Greetings! This will be my last test regarding offline shield charging speed. I will use Corvette with three shields, class 5, 6, 7 and with two completely different total ship mass. And the question I have is, does total mass of your ship influence in any way shield recharge speed? Because shield requirements for optimal and maximum hull mass might be a little bit confusing. And as you can see right away, there is really no difference for any class shield, even if you have two times lighter ship. For example, a 7 class shield I used on 2330 ton Corvette and same time at 1108 tons. And for offline shield charging speed, all that matters is shield class. Higher the class, faster your shields will charge. So for shield charging speed, doesn't matter how heavy your ship in total is. I remember reading somewhere very long time ago that hull mass regarding shields should be considered not as mass, but as size. That's why shield generators do not care about total mass of your ship, but only hull mass, because you can't change hull mass and all modules, weapons and cargo you place inside ship will not make ship bigger and shields will not have to cover greater surface area. That's probably what is most confusing about shield generators when they have requirements in hull mass optimal and maximum hull mass. We should just treat that as size, not mass. So shield recharge speed only cares about shield class that you have. Higher class, faster recharge speed you will have offline shield recharge speed. Online shield recharge speed is same for all shields except by V, which are faster. Online, regular and prismatic shields will charge with 1 megajoule per second and by V with 1.8 megajoules per second. But if somebody fires at you, online shields will temporarily stop charging. So if you are under constant fire, your by V shield advantage will be lost. Fly safe, commanders.